just smoked one. I just smoked one. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is one that I'm really excited about. I've been planning this for months. I'm kind of going on a solo mission with this one. I'm meeting some people there, but I'm the only one that's gonna be filming, so I'll be all solo filming, all hunting by myself. Um, I'm going to Maryland for Sika deer. I think that's how you say it, I'm not really sure, but I packed way too much stuff. Truck is completely loaded. I've got about a five and a half hour drive, and I'm just gonna go on the road. A guy who's who keeps you're you're the guy that keeps the bear shaft at your house so that you can throw it through paper once a month to make sure you're still on. So if you didn't already know, Sirius has started a podcast, Sirius Talk. We're on Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, Google, Google Podcasts, or whatever. We're on all the major platforms. Um, probably by the time this comes out, it will also be on Carbon TV. So be sure to listen. We talk archery, we talk hunting. We talk about whatever we want to talk about. But yeah, go check it out. We post new podcasts every Monday. So, apparently the Sika, Sika, Sika. God, I can't say it. Anyways, apparently they're running right now. It's the 1st of October. So, last minute I hopped on eBay, bought some calls that's the only place I could find them. Man, this thing's hard. It's like one day I can do it and the next day I sound like a dying rabbit. So, I don't know. I'm just working on it the whole way down here. It's not terrible. I'm getting there. Soon. I'll have it. Well, I just crossed over the, I think it's called the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. That was pretty cool, actually. That's a big bridge. But that means I'm about two hours from the campsite. Um, I'll be getting there right at about 4.15 as of now. But I gotta make one stop. I forgot to get a pillow. I gotta find a store that sells pillows. But I'm getting there. I'm almost there. This has been a long drive, but I'm really excited. So, we're getting closer. All right, guys, so I've got everything set up. I know it's dark now. It took me a little bit longer than I expected, and I went and drove around and did a little bit of scouting from the road, but I'll show you what I'm working with on this trip, and I'll show you a little bit better tomorrow. But I've got picnic table. Here's the cool part. We've got a full tent here. It's supposed to rain tonight, so I put the walls up. We'll go inside here. Here's my home for the next, what, like nine days? Here, I'll turn my, my ceiling light on. There we go. Oh, hit my head. All right, let's see here. I can't even get my tent open. Hang on. Here we go. I got an air mattress with a sleeping bag, an extra comforter, and a pillow I bought at Walmart. I'm going to put my kitchen right here that's where my food will be and i got my closet right here so it's not bad i think it's gonna work um if my canopy doesn't blow away in the wind tonight from the storm so i'm gonna go to bed and just hope i don't blow away and i'll see you in the morning we're gonna get up pretty early do some scouting i'm gonna look at some looking at some spots on the map um, there's a spot that's about four miles from a road that I want to go look at. It looks really good. So I'm going to hike into there. And we got a couple cell cameras we're going to put up. But this area is pretty nice. It's pretty prime. So tomorrow's a scouting day. No hunting. It's going to rain all day, so it's going to be wet. But I think it's going to be good. I think we're going to kill some stuff.
so we had a pretty big storm come through last night. Um, rained pretty hard, woke me up. The wind was blowing like crazy. It's still blowing pretty hard from it. But as soon as that rain ended, I could hear Sika out there bugling and screaming and going crazy. So they're not too far from camp. I can't wait to get on a hike and get back in there and see what I can find. So we've been scouting for three or four hours. We've walked several miles, but we finally found a spot we think that looks pretty good. It's right on the edge of all this frag and there's a ton of tracks going right out through here in the open spot. So there's a few trees I think I could probably get in. It's not the best tree-wise, but God, the mosquitoes are awful. But hey, it's some good sign. We're gonna put a Tacticam up, watch it over the next few days, and maybe out here tomorrow. Way in for the first sit of the hunt. The weather sucks, but I've got all my gear here. I don't have too far of a hike, but it's not an easy one. So I'll check back in when I get to the tree. All right, I'm set up, but it is freaking windy. I mean, this tree is going all over the place. Um, I found this spot yesterday scouting and it seemed a whole lot better yesterday than it does today now that I'm actually up in the tree, especially with this wind. I mean, it's a spot I'm gonna have to shoot a little bit further and it's just so windy, I don't think it's gonna happen. So the main trail I'm hunting is 40 yards away. I mean, it's hard here, there's no good trees. The main trail I'm hunting is 40 yards away, but there is a trail that comes right under me. There's just no fresh tracks on it. I'm hoping that's the trail they come in on, but I'm just gonna count it a success if I see one today. All right, guys, it is starting to get dark. I've probably got about 20 minutes left, but I think I set up in the wrong area today. I should have been deeper in the, in the thick stuff where there's a lot of trees because there's not much wind, obviously. I'm out here right in the worst possible wind, but there's a lot of sun in here, just probably not with this weather. So tomorrow is a different day. Uh, well, the weather is about the same, but I'm completely gonna reassess. I think I'm gonna hunt from the ground and we'll go from there. All right, guys. So this trip is not going like we expected it to. It's Thursday and I've yet to even see a deer. Um, we've been dealing with awful weather, hurricane winds and cold weather and rain and everything you can think of but it's Thursday I've got three days left to hunt and we're gonna start getting really serious about this we're gonna hike in there about as deep as we can and hopefully find something so we're going out really early this afternoon and we're just gonna see what we see we just gotta keep trying all right it's about one o'clock I've been hiking for about 45 minutes and the mosquitoes are treacherous today. If I stop moving, I get swarmed by them. They're biting me through my clothes. Gosh. Um, still got a good ways to go. But I'm gonna get as deep in there as I can today. This is a lesson not to rely solely on your digital maps. I came into this area thinking there was gonna be a lot of trees. There's no such thing as a tree to climb up here. <sighs> Just gotta go back out now. I'm changing the plans a little bit. If I can get to this island out here, I think I'll do good. But it's just a matter of if this ground stay solid or not.
I shot myself in the foot. I hiked onto this island just knowing there was going to be one on here. And I couldn't find the right tree, couldn't find the right spot to set up. Lo and behold, the spike popped out. God, I screwed it up. This has been the most frustrating trip I've ever had in my life. Nothing I've done has gone right. I'm so far back in here. It's like, it's two o'clock now. I've got time to get out of here and go somewhere else. I just don't know where to go. I really don't know where to go. I've really shot myself in the foot here. Okay, so I've got a spot. There's a huge trail run through here, tracks in and out like crazy. Only issue is, this is my only tree. I'm gonna put the platform like right here. It's just gonna give me enough to get over this bush. So when they come down the trail, I should hopefully be able to ambush them and they won't see me. It's gonna have to happen quick though. So honestly for this one, I might just use the GoPro, click it on, get to go. If they come, it's gonna be right here and it's gonna be close. All right, so I'm not very far into the trees here. I'm really on the, the edge of the trees, but there is a really heavy trail all the way through this right here. And I walked it as far as I could walk it, which I wish I wouldn't have because now my scent's on that trail, but I'm wearing rubber boots and I've been just walking around out here. Um, I've got these bushes right here that I'm kind of tucked down behind. If I can see one coming down the trail, I'm gonna slowly raise up as I draw and I'll have a shot right here at 10 yards. So I'm gonna have to draw down below these trees so they don't catch my movement and just be ready when they hit this spot. So my plan right now is just put the GoPro somewhere around here that I can click easy. So I'm just gonna click it on if I see one and let it run. been sitting here thinking uh, obviously I wasn't very happy earlier when I jumped that stack up and I acted a little stupid but it's just been a long hunt and that's the first one I saw and I was getting ready to set up in that area and I jumped him out I just never imagined he would have actually been sitting there I thought he was gonna be off in the thick stuff so of course I was a little mad but what can you do? Just gotta move on to the next one. And that's what we're doing now. And now we wait till dark.
walking in right here. I had a hunter walking in this way, and I'm looking at them. And I look back, and there's a hunt staring at me. We had like a seven minute standoff, and she finally walked her way to me, and I was able to get a shot off. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. She did some aggressive movements there after I shot her. And I just realized I don't have my headlamp. But I got the arrow here. Mm. All right, so it looks like I hit through both of her front shoulders. I'm gonna walk through here and see what I can find. All right, guys, so when I looked at the arrow, it didn't look very good. And after I shot her, she ran into this real thick stuff, like really, really hard, thick stuff. And I could not find the trail at all. So I started walking down the trail just to see if I could find somewhere that's open. And look at what I found. Laying right here, 15 yards from the tree. Now, I know it's just a, a smaller hind, but I've worked so hard for this thing. Um, I'm absolutely ecstatic. Like this evening didn't go how I thought it was going to earlier. Like, yeah, they got the mosquitoes. I had the issues with that spike that I jumped out and I thought the evening was blown. And then I just walked in here and found this spot. And I sent an arrow through my first Sika deer. That is so awesome. Public land do it yourself this is awesome i'm so relieved to finally get one so check him out one more, check her out one more time here i'm gonna i'm gonna try and get all my gear packed together and get this thing drug out of here and i'll set it up and show you one more time i want to show you all why we always talk about shooting for the exit and sorry i'm doing this with one hand okay so here we go here's my entrance front shoulders here oh, there you go front shoulders here entrance is right here but now look at the exit she was quartering to me this is my this is my exit Vital V is right in here. She didn't go 15 yards with that. I'm gonna guess mm, that's that's really good in there. She's probably in the heart, if not heart, double lung, I would say. But I'll see when I cut her up. But shoot for the exit. All right, guys. So I got the hind last night. Finally, finally got one after a long few days of hunting. Um, got it cut up, put in the cooler, it's good to go. And now I'm packing up my campsite and heading home. But I looked at the footage and I know you can't see her in the shot. I'm sorry about that, but the tree was not made for filming. Uh, the only option I had was the GoPro and where I had the GoPro was the only place I could really put it. I thought it might work if they came down the trail further, but she just wasn't doing it. She knew I was there. I had to take the shot I was given. Sucks we didn't get the right footage, but at the end of the day, we have a hind on the ground, and that's what we were here for. We were here to get a Sika. Wanted to get a stag, just didn't happen. That's all right. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I have no idea how it's going to play out. It was, a, it was a tough one to film. So I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and all the other cool stuff. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.